Officer, what's up, guys? So, hello, Mr. Biker. So, <clears throat> so, right now, I'm going to go pick up the missus. That's why you probably, well, I don't know if you can't see, I've got my old helmet on the back because she forgot to bring her her new one. But I thought I'd do a little vid vid. Thought I would explain why I bought the R3 in the end. And it's a really nice day today, actually. All right, it's still cold, it's still winter time. But it's dry at least. I've got some jeans on. I've got my little knee pad things on. I'm gonna start wearing them. These got like these jeans have got holes in, so I thought I might you know it's still bad. Like, what are you doing, fam? I'll just block half the road and then just go, oh, fuck it, I'll go. Hey caramba. Yeah, so I got these on just to protect my knees just in case I did come off. It's not the smartest thing in the world, but it will have to do. Uh, so yeah, as I said, I'm picking up the missus, so I thought I'd do a little video talking about why I bought this R3. Because uh, I made that video when I went to Fowler's and said, you know, talking about all the bikes I was thinking about getting. The reason I didn't get a Triumph Street 6675 because they said they would do me one, like it would have to be imported from France with a special engine that does 94 brake horsepower, yeah, 94 brake horsepower instead of 105 and all this. But it wanted like more than seven grand for the bike, and I, I just I just couldn't afford that. And if I could buy a bike outright, that was what I wanted to do. I didn't really want to go finance, so that's why I didn't really go for the treat, street triple. It's a gorgeous bike. Hello. It's a gorgeous bike. Don't get me wrong. But like when, when I passed my my full test in the UK in um in two years, I can always get it then. You know. Oh, I'll get the, the Daytona 675, so it, it doesn't really matter to me. I was looking at Ducati Monsters as well, I think it's the 796 in the 821. I don't think you can get to the 821 actually, it's 696 and the 796, something like that. I'll, if I'm wrong I'll put it on screen, but I was looking at those bikes and I thought they were really nice and I was looking for them on Gumtree and eBay and stuff like that, but I just couldn't find any close enough with a decent price tag on it, if that makes makes sense which is a bit sucky but the, like the, the bike I was mainly looking at like I, I was that was the bike I was gonna get from the start was the MT-07 but recently they've just been becoming more and more popular and if you know anything about me I'm really kind of I like getting a bike that stands out from the crowd and you know I don't see a lot of if that makes sense and here where I ride in the UK there I've never seen an R3 on the road ever <laughs> Which is mad to think about. It's probably just chance because I think there is a few of them in, in Bristol, but I've just never seen them. <laughs> so I, when I saw this thing, I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go for that. There's a lot of MT07s. Don't get me wrong, the MT07 sounds fucking amazing, and I, I just I wanted that bike. But now Jake the Garden Saint's got one. The Geordie bike has got the motor cage one. It's fucking awesome, and they sound amazing. Like the MT07 is just the orgasmic to the ears, man. Eargasm, that's the one. <laughs> I can't remember what it, was, what it was called. So that's kind of why I went off the MT-07. was I was looking at? There's an SV650S I was looking at that I was get, could get restricted. But in the end, it was it all came down to this. This had an amazing price tag on it. It was like really cheap. When I went to go get the bike, it had actually a nail in the rear tyre that he didn't even know about. So we said about that and he was like, oh, I'll knock 100 quid off as well. And I was like, win. And then he knocked another hundred quid off when we came back the second time, and I was like, right, yeah, I think you've just sold this bike to me. Because the price tag for it was super cheap, so that was awesome. It would have had a, a slip-on exhaust for it, indicator, so I'd have to mess around with that. I looked at the insurance, and it was cheap, and I really wanted to get into, like, the sports bike kind of style, so this kind of fitted perfectly, like... And it's kind of a good beginner, beginner bike, um like hitting into the A2 class because it doesn't quite make 47 brake horsepower and it's light, nimble and I can really kind of chuck it around and have fun with it and get used to being in this A2 category power range if that makes sense 
uh, instead of restricting a bigger bike it's going to be heavy and I've got to get used to the, its, its weight and things like that so when I pass my bigger test then I can get used to the weight and the bigger bike it kind of that kind of makes sense to me um, it's hard to explain really but yeah it's don't stop it I'm still here hi fucking idiot I see what I mean just people just start creeping out I'm like I'm still coming around that fucking corner damn um what? <laughs> and then this guy just pulls on the other side of the road to reverse nice dude nice yeah nice <laughs> Alright, I'll be with you in a sec, I gotta pick up the missus. Where can I park? Hmm. Huh? <laughs> There's nowhere to park. Thanks. Thanks. Not now. I've got help. My tongue. <laughs> Cheeky shit. I'll push the bike over there. We'll do the turny roundy thingy again. Okay. You have a drink. Mate. Mate. We paid that the missus. And where was I? Talk about why I bought this thing, wasn't I? Yeah, the price. No, it was making a video. So I said the uh, price tag was it was good. Had all those extra bits on it and stuff. Insurance was cheap. And yeah, I couldn't really like it was it, when I went to the to the dealers and saw it. It was nice indicator, bro. Not nice, nice. Spot on. It was. It was kind of. Oh, uh, now you indicate. It was kind of the first, first bike that stood out to me when I bought my KTM. Uh, as soon as I saw it, the, the Duke, I was like, "Yeah, that's the one I want." And this was the first bike that I saw in my A2 class. I was like, "Actually, yeah, this 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 is the one that I like. I like this thing." So that's why I ended up getting this thing instead of the Triumph, the MT07, the Ducati Monster, that kind of stuff. It was just. The most realistic, I want to try and get past this guy, I'm honest. Hi. Nice nod, dick munch. So yeah, there's a few more bits that I need to do to it. Full system, uh, tinted screen, clip-ons, rear set, all bits and bobs. I'll make a video about that. But yeah, this is the, the bike that kind of stood out. Cheap to insure, it was cheap to buy, just a perfect bike in the end, so that's why I chose this over all the other bikes I could have got. And hopefully you like it. Also I thought I could use this to kind of reach to the the US market of uh subscribers. Cause a lot of uh, a lot of Americans get these for the like the starter bikes, because they're perfect beginner bikes. And uh According to my analytics, it's only like 8% of the people that watch me are from America. And like 80% is from the UK. Yeah, you just, you just keep walking while it's a green light. Yeah, I'm now going to go 
take the missus and uh, she's going to go on the Grom for a bit and learn how to ride. So I've been teaching her how to do the basics at the moment because she's got a CBT. Well, I still need to book it. But she's going to do a CBT and then go on my insurance for the Grom. Pigeons! But, dude, the thing's there. Just stop in the middle of the road. Dumb fuck. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Why are you going so slow? Mad Max. Far from mad. Bad, maybe. Bad driver. What are you doing? I fucking hate when people don't know what they're fucking doing. Oh my days, bruv. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Oh, I went to the gym yesterday as well. First time in a month. And I ache. Like, coming, coming from the gym, going onto a bike. I was just like, oh my god, I hurt. <laughs> and now it's the morning after and I just, everything aches. But I did most of all the body stuff and my arms just ache like crazy. <laughs> I'm so happy the R3 is so light. Anyways, I'll see you in the next video. Peace. You got shit to do. Yeah. Bruh, why are you breaking? Doing 30 in a fucking 50.